Hello and welcome to the art of losing. We'll be choosing mostly excellent cards tonight. It's a beautiful day in Sunnyville and I will be showing you how this game really works when you have a mediocre intelligence and you have drinking many beers to sustain permanent brain injury unto your brain units. Mostly we can succeed with Uther Lightbringer. As a paladin I've seen him perform very strongly on the arena court. And I'm not so sure about Malfurion or Rexar, but Rexar sure gave me a royal beating a couple of days ago on the arena. So I might go with Rexar if I had any testicles remaining. But since um, drinking really lowers your testosterone levels, I will be most definitely going with the, with the um, Ubermensch Paladin, Uther. Alright, let's go. Now we can start choosing our cards. Okay, Knife Juggler is probably the most reassuring choice here. Although Nerubian Egg could also be considered a strong contender, but we are not so sure about the synergy. We might not be able to trigger its dead rattle. It's too early to say, honestly. And here we go. We have the first card. Then we are going to go with uh, Stormwind Champion because of the late game finisher and the um, general synergy. Um, Chillwind Yeti is a strong, strong card indeed. Now here we are going to pick. Most likely we are going to go with Piloted Shredder because of the mid game and the um, built in additional minion. Uh, and then we are probably going to go with Boulder Fist Ogre. And then, then here we go. This is something I'm not so sure. Um, we wouldn't try to run Scarlet Purifier since I'm not that experienced with new cards. So possibly Stampeding Godo is a safe choice for arena games. Here we can see that we have weak minions with no special abilities and then we have stronger minions but they really are mediocre uh, they really possess mediocre special abilities so perhaps we'll go with the raider unless you really want to go with a weak late game guy who will only grant you spell damage plus one this is a rather peculiar choice but since it becomes uh, it comes highly unexpected I might think that I'm gonna go and think outside the box this time yes I will oh this is fucked up royally but we are going to go with earthen ring fascia consecration and then we get our first legendary mm -hmm. add a spare part to your hand this is something I haven't seen before uh, I'm, and I'm not sure how powerful this would be at all. Let's see, we've got the same. Um, should I go with Talno since it's really like drawing a card and adding to our possible spells in the future? Or should we go on a spare part frenzy and go with Toshli? I don't like any of these guys, but of course, Blood Mage Thalnos is always a strong sweater. Alright. Um, I'm gonna go with Avenge, since it's been really irritating against me in the late <laughs> couple of weeks. Usually when I get the secret, it's always Avenge. And this really pisses me to or pisses me off to no end. Mm, um, shielded Minibot. Blessing of Kings. Blessing of Kings. Um, uh, of course it's true silver champion, we might not need muting ability or we might, but it really isn't something that I'd be so sure about at this time. So we are running low on... Well, we are not running low on number two minions, but we are gonna go with early. Um, equality has been really annoying and I'm gonna probably go with that. Mm, here's a card draw ability, um, our 
our four slot is getting a bit heavy at this point but I'd really love this card as a card draw effect and um, this really is a tricky choice for me I don't think that I want to go with that heavy four slots but I'll be missing out on a pretty solid card I really need to do that and this time around um, should I go with justice or should I go with draw a card we've got pretty heavy end game so I, I don't really think that we'll ever be needing guardian of kings maybe I'm not sure sure because this after all this is the art of losing I'm gonna go with flesh eating gold this time um, Jeeves has been a really tricky card for me. Not only does it serve uh, 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 against us when played wrongly, um, I really don't think that it holds any potential when you're a low IQ alcoholic guy like me. Uh, but but we'll, we'll go with Grim Patron. Um, here's a tricky choice for me. Boulder Fist Ogre um, or Force Tank Max. Should we take another Ogre in in fact, or should we um, take a bit heavier? <laughs> we'll go with Ogre this time. And then we'll go with True Silver Champion. It's a bit heavy again. Um, this is really getting on my nerves right now. This really is a, our three slot is the biggest slot at the moment. So really seems like a weak deck at the moment. I'm gonna go with... Mm, this really is surprising, but who the fuck knows, honestly. I'm gonna go with Annoyed. Oh shit, now it's justice time. And then it's Consecration. Um, really I don't see the value in here, but um, maybe we'll go with this. Uh, after all it grants two buddies. On the table, Dragonling Mechanic. We really are getting quite fat on the 4th slot. This is horrible now. And this is shit. We don't have any silencing or granting the taunt. So we'll just... This really, is. This really seems to suck right now. But that's okay. I don't really like this draft at all. But when you are poor you really don't get a choice in the matter. You play with what you've got and you use the brains that you've got. And also if you drink a lot of alcohol then you might not be in for a treat. You might be prepared to lose a couple of games. Actually my win percent at the moment is like 49 or 48. So that should probably give you an, a realistic picture on how I fare against people and really my arena stats are like 0 to 3 Uther, uh, at all times Uther. so we I can't really expect much Justice demands retribution. we can't really have a, um, <laughs> expect all that much this time but we'll go with this Oh well, we don't have really have any card draw, so I'll be I'll expect we will run out of cards fast. But we'll see what the fuck is going on. Maybe we will start with juggler. Most people seem to start with juggler, and I I really think it's a fun combo to get the Merlocks on board after after um we put life juggler on the table. But maybe he'll be able to get rid of our. Chuckler, we'll see. The Chuckler is a motherfucking gay man. I see him juggling his balls over the street. Oh, All right, now, <coughs> now we really have a delicious, delicious situation to um, trigger the motherfucking Murlocs, and we see if, if um, RNG Jesus is on our side this time. Yes, we do have the, we do have the strong upper hand now. Now we are going to be very afraid about Consecration coming on uh, turn 4, this fellow here. Oh shit. Okay, let's see here. We are going Reporting to smash that little guy, maybe? Yeah, maybe we'll smash him. Uh, I'm gonna go and unveil a little bit. 
whenever the hero is attacked. What the fuck is that secret? I have no idea. Uh, shit, should have should I have played that earlier or we'll see. Ah, oh, it's the same secret that we do, we have right now. I'm not gonna use taunt at the moment because I don't really think that. I'm not so sure if we are going to need to protect our our knife juggler just yet. I really don't know how to play this game, but we'll see how it goes, how it flows, how the spice must flow. I'm drinking licorice coffee here. It really tastes bad, it's like five months old, but I don't really don't have anything else to drink at the moment. So, we really are left with a lackluster choice here. Mm. <laughs> how we will, how can we get past that guy? Um, should we sacrifice our guys or leave us open with a... Or should we just, yeah, lose one health on Knife Juggler and get right past him. That really sounds like a solid alternative to me. Yep, that's what we'll do. And here you see me riding right past that motherfucker. Ah, here you go. Let's see how it fares out. But, but I'm... Oh, it's just playing taunts now. But that really is a stronger taunt. Um, I don't think that it's better card than Shenyin Shield Master by any means, but still, you know. <laughs> oh, fuck. This really is horrible now. Let me I don't... I'm not... I'm not ready to play. That? Or that? Uh, and I only get five damages out of these guys. So... We are going to go ahead and try our random number generator. And it doesn't mm, hit where it's supposed to. So then we are going to avenge the shit out of that. And see where, where the um, secret drops. What was the secret? I must move quickly. Oh shit, that's really shitty right now. Should we really... I'm in trouble. I don't know. I'm gonna sacrifice the last of my guys. It's really stupid, but what the fuck. It really is horrible now. I lost my poor presence and he's going to kill me. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it fans out. Is he going to try and shield that guy with taunts? He doesn't seem like the strongest Your opponent. Not I'm not um, very strong either, but this really seems a bit weak. Alright, now our choices are like... We could try and bring down two of those guys, but we could get... Hmm. I wonder. It really is a shame right now. I'm hoping for additional value, but this ain't the day that I'm getting any additional value out of these guys. The battle. Oh well. I think we'll, we did an okay run for ourselves at that time. What is that secret? What is our secret? Hmm. Why, are, why aren't these secrets triggering? I'm not sure, sure. I don't know how this game works. And he's Let steadily running out of cards and we have some mid-game muscle in our hand, so I don't really know if we're going to defeat this guy or not. Most likely not. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> Oh, that's really strong. We'll go with them. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate right there. But now we've got our pilot, the Shredder, who's gonna give us a minion, hopefully. 
but I'm not so sure if we are ready to play that guy just yet. I really Let need to get rid of think. that uh, mad bomber first. But who the fuck knows? Maybe two minions on the table might bring forth some kind of um, difference, since the pressure will be in his end right now. So we'll see if he tries to deal with our minions. Mm, we'll, this is... Ah, he'll go with the same option that we've got. And probably try to get rid of that. Um, holy shit. That's just laughable. Unfortunate. Now he'll just um, waste our guy. Holy shit. Seven damage. Now, do we have lethal? We've got like six on the table. Mm. Hmm. I'm gonna try and... It really seems a bit tricky right now. I really hate this weak deck. I really hate everything right now. I'm gonna kill this guy with my parrot. This really is intense. Can you feel the in intensity growing in your eyeballs? Behind your eyeballs, I mean. This really is insane. He's going, in, going to defeat me, I'm ju just not sure how. Is that the strong of a guy right now? Yeah, now, now the tables have started to turn against Reporting us. For duty. I'm not sure if he'll go. Yeah, he'll go and heal his, himself. It's pretty strong. This is pretty awkward right now. I really would like my um, second concentration right about now. Ah, okay. Let, Let me us think. consider this. We can drop like three minions straight away. But we'll see what happens afterwards. For justice. That's shit. That's total shit. But I, I, we still get the minion, so I'm not sure if that's that really big of a deal. Now, if he can deal with our weapon, we are probably dead. This really mm. has been an enormous struggle because my deck is so lackluster. Fuck. It's clobbering time! Engaging TC 130 until just early to say. If I get my damage card, I might be able to take him down still, but it really is... Ah! For justice! Um, this really went weird, because um, I didn't have that many strong cards or anything. But this is how it ends up. We defeat the guy with our, like, shitty deck. But... Honestly, who can tell? Who can tell? I cannot tell anything about the outcome, usually. But this has been the art of losing.